Felipe, uh, we got the news that uh, James Ryan's expected to be available for selection. What kind of boost is that to have him back? Yeah, I think it's it's a great boost. Obviously, a great player, and and you know he's been unlucky with the injury, but uh, he's made a, a, a very good and quick recovery. So hopefully, he'll be up for selection. He's he's doing really good progress. So um, yeah, it's great to have him back in the mix. Felipe, hi. Sorry, it's Michael Calkin here. Um, what, what, what's the feeling like at the start of this week that, you, that you, there's something to, to play for in terms of uh, silverware at the end of this week? Well, that, that's, that's what we play for. You know, like uh, you always want to win and, and win trophies. And, and now we have that opportunity this coming weekend. So uh, it's, it's, it's great we are, we are in, in, in this position. Um, but we know how, how hard it is to win and, and win silverware, so um, we are taking this week like uh, trying to prepare as best as we can for just to to take on a, a very good side, you know, in in Ulster. So uh, yeah, it's it's great to be in the in the place where we are, um, and we are taking it with full responsibility as we have to, you know, because it's 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 a great great to be in in a final. Have you taken any lessons from? Um, the Ulster victory over Edinburgh and maybe the manner of that victory where they looked as if they were out of the game for a long period in the second half, yet, you know, they literally came back and won it at the death. Are, are, there, are they a pretty dangerous team for you to play against? Totally. I think they are a very dangerous team. And it's not only taking a lesson on what we've seen this weekend from Ulster. I think they've been building into one of the best teams in in definitely in the competition and one of the best in Europe for the last couple of years and and um, we've we've taken lessons from them uh, in the quarterfinal um, last year um, of, of Heineken Cup quarter or Champions Cup quarterfinal last year we've taken lessons on two weeks ago when we played them. Uh, we are always taking lessons on them because they are a very dangerous team and, and what they've done at the weekend, you know, they are the only, oh, well, the second team to, to win a, a, a semi-final away from home, you know, and that speaks huge of them and the way they won it, 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 it makes, you know, I'm, I'm sure they are um, in great confidence and, and, and you know, in, in a high and, and, and they are building something special themselves. So, so yeah, definitely we, we are taking everything that into account for us to, to prepare the best we can, to, to perform the best we can against a very difficult and, and good team, you know. Gracias. Felipe, has it made any easier for, for you guys as coaches the fact that you've come up against, sort of since the restart, you've come up against the same opposition twice, like you've beaten, you played Munster twice, you beat Munster twice, uh, you played Ulster once and, 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 and beat them and have an opportunity to do that again. Has, has it been that little bit easier that, that, that each time you've come up against opposition, it's been the same as the pre previous time? Well, it depends. It, it has two sides, you know, or easier or tougher because you know each other much better and you already know uh, and how, what to expect each other and so on. And sometimes when you know too much each other, it's sometimes uh, even tougher to play against teams that you know uh, very well, you know. Um, so, yeah, I think we don't we don't treat it like if easier or, or more difficult, we treat it as a final. And that's that's the end point, you know. And for us, it's Ulster. It could have been Edinburgh, uh, but it's Ulster. And, and we are treating it as a totally different game than, than what we had two weeks ago because it was something different at stake, definitely. And and, and obviously we have, uh, you know, it's it's even if the say it is the same team, uh, it's totally different situation. And, and game starts zero zero, and and it goes for eighty minutes, and every game is totally different. So um, I think it's a great occasion, and, and and we are preparing the best we can, and and we know how how important is preparation. So we are preparing the best we can to to perform the best we can in in, in a final. You know that it's not easy. I think uh, Dan McFarland was was quick enough to to place aside as as underdog, saying that basically nobody would give him. Uh, an opportunity is that like is, how how do you how do you analyze that how do you analyze somebody coming out straight away and going on and oh well we're, we're we're severe underdogs for this I mean there's a there's a there's an inherent risk in that isn't there? 
Well, that's mind games, you know. I, I, I don't really pay much attention to that. I just control what we can control, that is the way we prepare and so on. And, and I'm sure that um, he might be saying that, but, but to his men, he'll be saying we are going there to win, you know, and, they, and, and that's what they've been building and they've been prepared. So we know they're a very tough team. They're a very well-coached team. So they have, in my opinion, very good uh, coaches uh, in, 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 in their staff. And, um, and they, they know what they, they have to do to win games. And, and, and they'll be with a lot of confidence. So uh, I, I don't pay much attention what people say about the games because uh, every game starts nil-nil and it goes for 80 minutes and every game is different and you have to play them. And, and the, the way to perform the best you can is prepare the best you can. So we are just focusing on preparing ourselves the best we can. Thank you. Felipe is Don Swift here. Uh, there's 22 players every week uh, who don't get a game. And there was talk of an A game as well. Is that still possible? <clears throat> we, sorry? we. Uh, there was talk of an A game. But this weekend? No. Is it, is it, is it on the cards? No, well, uh, I think it, it would be great to have a like a games in terms of competition for for everyone. It's hard when we have, um, you know, we're going into a final and only twenty three will be uh, yes. performing there. But we represent uh, uh, fifty three players that's been that took us into that final. You know, so um, yeah, it's hard, and we would like to have. For those other 30 players or whatever players you have, the 20 or, or players that you have that are not, uh, that, 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 that won't take the pitch on the weekend, it, it would be great for them to have a, a game. But um, at the moment, we don't have an A game. And, and, and it's, it's about, it's something more trying to be organized, but I don't know where the states are at the moment. Um, but yeah, it, it would be really welcome to have some games for, for the guys that it's so competitive in Leinster that we are lucky that many guys have uh, time, uh, but, but still, you know, uh, they want to play every weekend and only 23 get that chance, you know. Yeah, thanks. Felipe, how's it going? Uh, Pat McCarry here. Yeah. Um, just... It was just such a shame, you know, for that, that, that rain shower that kind of came out just before kickoff against Munster. Probably some of the plans you guys had might have had to go out the window, but um, just kind of wanted to get your, your thoughts on, on Hugo Keenan now, like a lad who's kind of thrown in for such a big game and, and kind of accounted for himself pretty well. And I do remember he had that big tackle on, on Conor Murray from that up and under, but what were, what were your thoughts on how he played there at the weekend? Yeah, I think he had a, a, a good game, you know. Um, sometimes games, uh, you know, they, they're they awkward sometimes and, and the way you have to play them, maybe they, you can't, what you've planned, you can't play what, what you've planned and, and so on. But but you still have the um, things that you, you don't need some skills to do, like, and that's attitude. And, and Hugo has a great attitude towards the game, so... And he showed it at the weekend, you know, he chased every ball, he tackles, he stood up and then play and never gave up, work off the ball really hard. So he's, he's a very interesting young player coming through and, and, and it was great to see him in a, in a big occasion like a semi-final, you know, and, and doing so well. So I'm very happy for him. And in terms of, you know, you're saying hopefully Jordan makes it at the weekend, but if, if you had to fall back and call on somebody, you know, it's great to have someone like Rob Kearney that, you know, you have training every day and he's absolutely, I'd say, you know, itching to kind of get out there and get a chance. I'll tell you, we have, we have options and that's, that's uh, you know, how good is this squad that we have many options to, to cover players if, if they are not fit. Um, but we... We hope Jordan is fit, available for selection. Then we'll see what's the best selection for for the weekend. You know, uh, uh, but it's it's really a pleasure or, or a really gift to have like players like Rob Carney or you know uh, there to to step up and, and and training with us every day and 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 who knows maybe it's, it's the fullback at the weekend. You never know. Perfect. Thank you. Last couple of questions from the floor, please. Thank you. 
Um, Felipe, um, Munster played a, a fairly tight uh, game, uh, a lot of box kicks and stuff like that. Uh, into the final against Ulster, do you expect a different uh, type of game? Uh, do you think uh, it'll be more expansive, maybe? Um, well, I don't know. Like uh, we we prepare the game. We, we said we can't control what other teams prepare or, or plan or the tactics they will play against us, you know. And but what we can is, is learn to deal with them and and deal in a, in a in a good manner, you know. So. Um, I, I I would like to think that uh, even if if Ulster comes and play that sort of game, um, uh, kicking box kicks and so on, um, I would like to think that we can take it to another level and, and play a more expansive game, you know, and deal better with with that sort of games. Um, it's, it's you're there to win semi-finals and then finals, you know, and and obviously. Everyone would love, and we love to win them in, in a beautiful way. But sometimes when the game is 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 going that way, you have to grind it and 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 just make the best you can, you know. And hopefully at the weekend it will be a more expansive game, um, because I think we we feel we we can play a better a better game than we did at, uh, last weekend, and also for spectators, you know. Last question, uh, just, uh, just a quick one. Um, how impressed were you with Ian Madigan and the way he uh, nailed that, those two kicks there towards the end of the game? Yeah, I think it's it's part of um, the responsibility of a kicker, but but it was very cool on him keeping his cool and, and, and nailing those two kicks, you know, uh, great for Max. And, and that's what also probably experience does and... and, and that's the depth that they were that 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 you can talk of Ulster. You know, they are a very good side with a lot of depth, and people can come in and just nail the the kicks they have to 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 take them to a final. So, good on him.